For this next design challenge, Edison will represent the infeed on a copy machine. I have three sheets of paper here. When I take these three sheets of paper and I put them into the copier, when I say start, it's going to take all three sheets and feed it into the machine. What you need to do for this design challenge is write a program for Edison that replicates that test. For this design challenge, this is the fixture you will use to test your program. This fixture just represents the infeed portion of a copy machine. You'll notice the paper that I have is placed into plastic sleeves. The reason I did this is to minimize friction. The paper will be placed back here in the infeed tray and it will be staggered. To start your program, you'll press the play button, but that's similar to plugging the copy machine into the wall and hitting the power button. The machine's on, but it only infeeds paper into the machine when the copy button is pressed. Therefore, in your program, when the round button is pressed on Edison, that's when his wheels should spin and feed paper into the copier. In this area here, this would represent the inside of the machine. Notice that the paper is one color and the surface area of the infeed table on the copier is another color. This is how a successful program should work. After the play button is pressed, any time I press the round circle button, Edison will feed sheets of paper into the copy machine. He'll feed sheets of paper no matter if it's one sheet of paper, three sheets of paper, or ten sheets of paper. The play button was pressed. I just provided Edison with three sheets of paper and he pushed all three sheets of paper into the machine and he stopped. Now, if I take one sheet of paper, he feeds one sheet and the wheels stop. If I take two sheets, That is how a successful program should work.